No New England community is complete without a general store. And so we conclude our look at the North Quabbin region with a visit to the country store in Petersham. The store officially opened for business in the fall of 1840. And since then, many store owners have come and gone, but remarkably, most were committed to the idea that the store was more than just a business. They believed in the store as a central gathering place in the heart of the community. That tradition continues today with current owner, Ari Puglisi, who talked with Carolee McGrath. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Tell us how you became the proprietor and do you own it or do you run it? Explain that, how that works. So it's a pretty neat story. Um, it's something that's happened in a few country stores around New England. Um, the store had kind of fallen into some bad times, it had closed, gone through a, gone through a few um, owners, and was, and was really struggling. Um, and this is, hats off to the Peter Sam community, basically came together and privately, through, through a private donation, raised close to $400,000 to buy the building and also to restore the building. Um, and then they partnered up with East Quabbin Land Trust, a wonderful a local land trust that helps to preserve open space in town, uh, farms. And uh, so the store is uh, owned by East Quabbin Land Trust and uh, my wife and I own and operate the business that, that's inside this incredibly beautiful building. How old is this building? 1840. Wow. It's, um, depending on who you want to believe, uh, most of the accounts say it's the second oldest con run, continuously run store in the country. So it has a very rich history. Why was it important to you to take this job? This is a, this is a big job. The store has always held a kind of special place in my heart. Um, I grew up um, coming here when I was, you know, this big. I would come and, you know, the owner would let me dump out the coins on the counter and I'd, you know, collect the, you know, the buffalo head nickels and the Indian pennies. And it, was, it was, you know, it really was that kind of place. So my mom wanted to know where I was. She would call down to the store. Um, I actually wrote a paper on it in college, but um, I ended up doing something different. It's actually a second, second a career for me. And, but I fell in love with food, I fell in love with the building community, um, and really what a better place to do it than you know, here in this building. So um, building community is what I feel like this country needs the most, and what a better way to do it through food, I think. Well, and you're also Italian, <laughs> so and that's the Italian language, food. Tell us a little bit about um, some of the things that you offer here for people. Um, well, one thing is it's important that we're, we're very dedicated to a, a local food, which is one of the reasons why East Quabbin Land Trust um, got involved in this project, because they really, their primary mission is to, is, is to, um, is to uh, preserve open space, and they've helped a bunch of small local farms get started. Well, a store like this is very important because the farmers need a place to sell their wares and their food, so, and that's traditionally what country stores were, where um, you know, the food would come up to the center of town. Usually they're in the, like, you know, on the common and, and, uh, and all the goods and services would, would come into the town and, and in this case be purchased by the store. Um, so really our, our total mission is to have about half of our inventory come within 100 miles. So we're big time, big time a local vores. Even the frozen yogurt that we do um, comes from a local farm. We actually make the frozen yogurt from local yogurt um, so, um, so, you know, we have a lot of fun with it. How do you stay competitive as a business model? Sure. Because when you walk in, it's, it's a little swanky. You know, yeah. it's like, wow, this is a yeah. country store. You know, I mean, it's not like, you know, your nickel country store. Right. How do you remain competitive? Well, I think the, th the thing that we're trying to do is to make it um, interesting enough and, and try, and there's, people are, are, are really wanting what we have to offer. People want local food. They want real food, uh, food that's food that's made with love. And, um, and people are willing to drive for it. So for us, it's a, it's a matter of making it interesting enough to attract people from the area, because um, it's tough to support a store with 1,200 people. Yeah. Um, so our goal is to kind of get some people, you know, to come here. So um, Springfield, come on down. All right, Ari, it smells so good in here. <laughs> I know the viewers can't smell that, but it smells delicious. Thank you so much for uh, spending the time and telling us about this store. Thank, Thank you, and you. good luck. All right, thanks.